my lovelies welcome to my channel here we are doing another spell for you guys um i am currently doing this for three clients uh this is the conclusion of some rituals uh that we've been doing uh this is the last phase and i will teach you guys um this spell is particularly um it's called the name paper candle spell and this is particularly to bring to you the person that is no longer with you whether it was a breakup whether there was a separation um or whether you feel that you've been in a relationship and the you know the passion has been going away or they haven't been giving you attention or even communicating with you this will facilitate that and it'll happen rather quickly and it will also bring to you um more devotion towards them or towards you sorry from them so um again do this preferably in a new moon or in the full moon tonight is full moon so um this is just the again like i said this is a conclusion of some rituals that i've been doing for clients but if you do it exactly the way i'm going to tell you to do it you will get results you will get communication you will see them more loving, more nurturing towards you, and you will uh, also start to notice that they are desiring more um, to be around you or to even rekindle the sexual uh, connection, okay? So what you're going to be needing, and I want to apologize, <laughs> I was actually doing, tonight is full moon, and I was actually doing a bit of chaotic spell work earlier in the day, and I had a, um, <clears throat> I had a, uh, it, a little accident um so anyways i had to put some ointments and that's the reason why i have this uh as i do want to make sure that um it heals rather quickly okay anyways so what you're going to be needing is you're going to be needing a jar could be any type of jar as long as you have a lid you're going to be needing a red candle uh preferably a candle this size or a candle um, that you can dress and you can integrate herbs in it. So it doesn't have to be, um, with a, you know, with a, with a glass container. It could just be a regular candle. But again, you are going to have to dress it and keep, um, or integrate, uh, herbs in it. Okay. So you're also going to be needing Jezebel root. Now I know this is a root that is very hard to find and it is rather expensive. Nonetheless, if you can get your hands on it, it is so powerful. You can use it for multiple spell works. You can use it for love spells. You can also use it for protection and you can also use it to um, remove certain people in your life. So it's a very strong and prominent um, root. And again, like I said, it is a bit hard to find. Nonetheless, if you're able to find it, it is very worth it. And uh, then you're going to be needing two different herbs. You're going to be needing raspberry and dandelion. So raspberry leaf is very, very good for anything that has to do with love magic spells. And dandelion is very good for, uh, to assist or to call in spirits uh, to assist you and help you. Um, and it is also very, very powerful when it comes to love magic, okay? So these two combined are very explosive. Also, what you're going to be needing is you're going to be needing love powders. So you can use any type of love powder. Uh, this has come to me, uh, powder that I make, um, that I use. And again, any type of powder that is love powder, uh, this has come to me because uh, these specific clients do need them to come towards them. Uh, some of them don't have communication and the others are just luring them back into their lives, okay? So you're also going to be needing precipitation oil. Now, I know that a lot of you guys ask me, where can you find these? Again, this is another ingredient that could be very difficult to find. Nonetheless, if you're able, and they are rather expensive as well, but if you're able to find it and get your hands on it, these are extremely powerful and give you very, very quick results. So if you can get them, great. Um, but it is necessary for this specific uh, spell. Now, you're also going to be needing any type of love oil. I'm using Adam and Eve and uh, Crazy For Me oil. But again, uh, any type of love oil will assist you with this, okay? Also, what you're going to be needing is you're going to be needing some pins uh, as we will be needing to pin uh, some names together, you and your partner's name. Also, you're going to be needing sugar. Um, sugar, doesn't matter what kind of sugar, please don't 
you know, don't, don't pay much attention to those things. And um, so like I was saying, also what you're going to be needing is some cinnamon, cinnamon powder, uh, rosemary, uh, it doesn't matter if it's dry or fresh, you, I prefer to use dried. And you're also going to be needing either lemon peel or lemon oil. Um, now you guys know that I do my own oils and um, you know, so as you guys can see here, this is uh, one of the ones that I've had um, and I use for. Now orange is used for a lot of purposes, but when it comes to love, it facilitates the process. It makes it quicker. It removes any blockages, anything keeping them currently from you or to come towards you. So again, you can use orange peel and you will uh, insert the orange peel. I will tell you guys the process of this, but very quick. Um, orange peel, if you do have um, orange, um, what is it called? Orange oil, uh, like this, you know, organic, uh, it would be ideal. But if you don't, you can always use a regular orange, the orange peel, okay? And finally, you're going to be using water. Okay, so what we're going to do, oh, and two strips. Uh, two strips, almost like the size of the uh, fortune cookie uh, paper, about that size. Um, so anyways, okay, so I've already done these here. All I need to do is pretty much integrate uh, the orange oil, the water, the sugar, and the cinnamon with the rosemary, but I'll do that in a bit. I am going to, I didn't really uh, finish this one because I wanted you guys to see it. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to get the candle and we're going to make um, a hole. So preferably use a very sharp knife or any type of sharp object. Uh, that will assist you in making making a hole as you guys can see here we have a hole and make sure that the hole goes pretty deep to the bottom as we're going to be integrating or we're going to be putting the herbs in here now before you do this again consecration of your uh of your tools is very important so make sure to consecrate make sure to cleanse the jars and the candle before actually proceeding with spell work Obviously, this has already been consecrated, so I'm just, you know, giving you guys uh, basically um, the the how we, we're going to get this ready, okay? So, anyways, uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to be getting the uh, raspberry leaf herb and the dandelion, and what you're going to do is you're going to insert them in the hole and make sure to use... Um, I always preferably use wood sticks, but uh, you can use uh, anything that is not of steel um, other than the knife. Of course, you know, this is necessary in order for us to make the hole. <clears throat> but when we start to put in uh, the herbs, it is very important to use wood. Um, I don't I won't get into that just so I can make this uh, video short. OK, so anyways, once this is done, you're going to put in. Uh, the dandelion and the raspberry leaf, as you guys can see here, they're already inserted there. And once you do this, you're going to consecrate it. You could do the cross or do it however you do. Uh, per, put your prominent hand over the candle and say, I consecrate this. I ask the spirits, spirits to assist me and guide me in the consecration of the herbs and the oils that will be going into this candle as a vehicle uh, to bring towards me the petition that will uh, be made okay so it could serve you as an instrument um, so once that is done once you've put the herbs on here what you're going to do is you're going to be inserting uh, the oils okay so we're going to start first with the precipitation oil you don't need very much of it try to use very little um, you don't need a lot of this you really don't all you need is really a drop to be completely honest with you okay once that is done we're going to insert the come to me or the crazy love oil you don't need very much of it again like i said and the adam and eve oil as well and make sure that when you're putting them on there you're uh try to put it inside the hole where the herbs are at Okay, so once that is done, then we're going to be getting 
the come to me powder you don't need very much of this again like i said i prefer to use my hand as i try to put more of my essence into my spell work and you drop it in there okay so once that is done remember father the holy spirit i call upon you and i ask you to assist me and guide me in this petitioning i ask all the spirits to please step forward and guide me in this work that is about to commence may all the ingredients that go into this cal candle assist me and bring to me that of quick results for my client perfect trust and perfect love blessed be okay once that is done let me move this over here all right so once that is done what we're going to do is we're going to get um again like i said the jezebel root and you're going to stick it on the side now i'm not sure if you guys can see so this is the candle wick that is the hole and this is the jezebel root okay make sure to stick it all the way to the bottom and one thing i do want to let you guys know because we're putting a lot of herbs and because we're putting powders it is crucial very important for you to keep an eye on the candle do not step away from this do not even if it's just for five minutes like if you're going to step away snuff it out and redo it uh, or relight it sorry not redo it relight it um do not step away from it and leave it burning because you don't want to you know burn up your altar or do any crazy chaotic type of stuff so just be mindful about that you guys okay once this is done, what we're going to do is we are going to get the jar. Now I do have um, a picture in here. What you're going to be needing is you don't need a picture. I A lot of the times in the videos, if I don't tell you guys in the videos to integrate a picture, then you don't need a picture. I know that a lot of you guys are like, well, you did put a pit. Well, yeah, because I'm doing spell work for clients doesn't necessarily mean that you need it. Obviously, if you're doing this for yourself, you know who you're doing this for. So you don't need a picture. Just putting it out there. Okay. So what you're going to do is obviously I have the picture here again because I'm doing this for clients, not for anything else. You do not need a picture if you're doing this for yourself. What you're going to be needing is two strips. Okay. One strip is gonna have your first and last name and your date of birth. The second strip is gonna have the first and last name of your partner and their date of birth. Yes, you can do this to bring new love towards you. If you have a love interest, you can also do this uh, for them or yeah, for them. Um, so again, you do need their information. If you do not have their first name, last name or date of birth, or if you don't know if they have a middle name, or if you don't have the year, you cannot do this spell. This spell is not for you, okay? All right, so once you have the names, what you're gonna do is you're going to put the name of the person that you're doing this for in an upright position like this, and you're going to cross it with yours like this, okay? So this is the partner's, this is yours, your name, uh, and it's gonna go over it, okay? So basically you are crossing them. Let me. All right, so here is where the pins come in handy. You're gonna be using two. And preferably use red or black. Okay, why red or black? Because those are very strong and prominent uh, colors when doing spell work. Obviously, if this is a person that is extremely stubborn like this client's partner is um he's a bit of a prick narcissistic so i'm using black to overpower him okay so you're gonna go through the paper with the pen like this like this and then you're going to be getting another one of the same color And you're going to be sticking it in the opposite or not the opposite but on the other side of this so i will show you guys okay so it should look like this okay 
Once you have this, you're gonna insert this inside and keep it in the cross position. This is very important, you guys. Pay attention. Watch these videos to its completion. You guys ask questions that are already answered in this video. So again, make sure that you're inserting the name and keep it like a cross, very important. Okay, once this is done, what we're going to do is we are going to be putting some orange oil over the names and we're going to be putting the rosemary and the orange peel. Obviously I have the orange peel and the oil in here, but if you don't, you will be using the orange, the fresh orange peel, okay? All right, so you're going to be putting some rosemary Okay, and you're going to be putting the orange peel. I work in three, so I will be using three. And a bit of the oil. All right, once this is done, you're going to be sprinkling some uh, cinnamon powder okay I would show you guys but I do have my clients information on here so I'm not going to show you <laughs> all right so once this is done we are going to get sugar and we are going to put a good amount of sugar on here Okay. All right. Once this is done, you will be using or needing water. And I'm going to be pouring it over the water. This is not a sweetening jar. This is not um it, it does help with, you know, sweetening the person, um, but it's not particularly considered uh, because we are integrating all the elements on here. And um, so this is just the removal, the cleansing, um, the reminder of this person to remember or to have only positive thoughts of yourself or how it was uh, when everything was ideal in the relationship, okay? So once this is done, you're gonna let it, you're gonna cover it, and you're gonna let it sit next to your candle. So once both of these are done, you're going to burn, you're gonna light the candle. All right. And you are going to burn the dress candle completely okay completely you're gonna let it burn completely for nine days so what does this mean you're gonna burn uh you're gonna light the candle and you're ideally what you're gonna do is you're gonna burn the candle for nine straight minutes for nine straight days okay if you're getting closer to the ninth day and you see that it's it's still rather half full then you'll let it run longer uh, than nine minutes, but only after the fourth day. So let me repeat this so you guys don't get confused. If you've burned this for four days and you're only using nine minutes, again, this is necessary the, the first two to three days, uh, preferably go all the way to the fourth day, only burn it for nine minutes. Do not step away from it, stay with it. Okay, and when you're doing this focus, put your intention, put your energy towards it. You're going to burn it for nine minutes. Once the nine minutes are up, you're going to snuff it. You can snuff it with the saliva, with the, uh, with the spoon, whatever. Do not blow on this candle. 
okay? Because everything will go basically to shit if you blow on it. So once the nine minutes are up, you're going to snuff it out. The next day, the following day, you're going to light it again and let it burn for nine minutes. You're going to do this for nine consecutive days. If after the fourth or fifth day, ideally fourth day, after the fourth day, if you see that it's still rather full, then you're going to let it burn um, a little bit longer, uh, making sure more or less if that you're going to make it to the nine days. You cannot, you cannot burn this candle before nine days. Okay? Very, very important. So once you dressed it, uh, once you're ready to go, you're going to uh, keep these two together. You're going to burn it for nine consecutive days. Ideally, the first four days, you're going to burn it for only nine minutes until it is completely done. On the ninth day, regardless of how much wax is left or how much you still got to burn, you let it burn out completely. Okay, doesn't matter. Um, you got to let it burn completely. Once it is done, depending on how the wax, obviously I have, you guys um, can find a video on here of how to rate the candle wax uh, that is left on the candles. Anyways, um, once this is done, you're going to toss this out and you're going to keep this jar. Keep this in your altar. Keep it wherever, obviously, your partner can't see it. After four to six months, you have the option of tossing this out. You can recast this or redo this. Keep in mind, it is not safe to uh, continuously do different types of spells for one particular person. A lot of the times, people are very desperate and they don't get results within a week and they're quickly doing all kind of spell work. You can actually hinder yourself instead of helping yourself. So keep that in mind, you guys. So um, again, like I said, keep this away, put away for six months. Um, you should experience the partner being much more loving, more caring, more nurturing. And, you know, if you guys have been lacking in the sex department, that's definitely going to be rekindled. There's going to be a lot of passion, a lot of desire, especially with the Jezebel root. Uh, this is definitely, you'll notice them being much more docile. You'll notice them being more agreeable with you. Um, after the six months, if you feel that it starts to wear out, uh, you can toss all the ingredients at the entrance of your home. Obviously, the papers, you can toss them out if they're not disintegrated by then um, and redo this or recast this. OK, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. I tried to make it as quickly as possible. Um, it is. Yes, it is. It seems rather easy of a spell to do. Uh, the only difficult thing is some of the ingredients. If you cannot find these ingredients, you cannot do this spell. There's always other spells where you can supplement, um, not supplement, sorry, where you can um, integrate other type of ingredients if you don't have certain ingredients. Uh, this one has to pretty much be done to a T in order to be able to get results, okay? Of course, you guys all know witches work with what we have. Um, if you feel uh, pulled uh, towards, you know, using a certain type of ingredient to substitute. Uh, I always tell you guys, in order for you guys to get results, you have to do it to the T. Um, but it doesn't mean that you don't have the power or the focus. If you're able to disconnect yourself from the situation and focus on what the ultimate outcome is, you will definitely see results. Okay. So I wish you guys the best and we will see each other soon. Okay. Bye my lovelies. Wait for this song.